and welcome to another edition of Election Insights. I'm Neil Kelly, Registrar of Voters for Orange County. Our guest today is Wanda Schaefer, representing the League of Women Voters of Orange County. A little background on the League. The League of Women Voters was founded in Chicago in 1920 and has as its official position that it is strictly nonpartisan. It neither supports nor opposes candidates for office at any level of government. The League is a grassroots organization with chapters in all 50 states, plus the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. They currently have approximately 160,000 members, which is a big number. Wanda, welcome. Thank you And very maybe much. you can expand a little bit more on the League in general and perhaps the League here in Orange County. I'd love to. Uh, the League of Women Voters, which is 92 years old, we wow. celebrated our birthday. The League of Women Voters is really four levels, mm -hmm. and the first one is the national. U.S. League of Women Voters, then we have the State of California League of Women Voters. We have the Orange County League, which is really four. Mm -hmm. We have Capo Bay, Central, Coast, and North Orange County, mm -hmm. about 500 members. Mm -hmm. And we then uh, go on to the, each little city has their league also. Sure. Um, actually, we are two parts, and I'd like to explain it because yeah. it's a little misunderstanding sometimes. The League of Women Voters is first a nonpartisan, political membership organization. We're political only in that we take a position and then state it publicly. Mm -hmm. That position is never taken unless we do a thorough study. It's done throughout the entire United States. All of the leagues study it in thoroughness. We then take a position on it. Mm -hmm. And if we can't get a membership agreement on the position, then when the ballot measures come out or an issue arises, we say we're neutral. Mm -hmm. Or we could say we oppose or we support. We never, ever, as you said, support a political party or a candidate. Now, are those votes for are those votes taken within each chapter, or are they taken nationwide? How does They're that taken work? with each chapter. Okay, got yep. it. All right. So it's a large group of consensus. So emphasizing nonpartisan as part of the organization is a good thing to do. Oh, please, right. yes, absolutely. <laughs> so the other the other part of us besides mm -hmm. that part is that we um, are also nonpartisan public policy. And in that, we then do registering, educating voters, and so on. Well, I think maybe, it, and you would know this much more than I would, but the nonpartisan part of it may come out from where the league started, which was women's suffrage, right? Thank you, yeah, yes. You're right, and so that's where this all developed, and maybe perhaps why they were focused on issues related to just having access to voting. Very uh, good, thank you. Yeah. So tell us about voter registration here in Orange County. I know the league is very involved in that. Well, we go on a lot of college campuses with other organizations, mm -hmm. and we have helped spread the news. Uh, we take all five of the languages of your registration forms, mm -hmm. and we've helped put them in libraries and the DMV and so on. And we work closely with you. Yeah, and w are you looking forward to registering lots of folks for 2012? Hopefully. Yeah. What were your numbers? I, li I like what you're stressing are the young people. I think that's so important. Absolutely. And not only just for registering, but is getting them involved in elections. Right. And getting them to work it. Uh, what about candidate forms? Because I know that's really what the League is known for in many circles. We actually get asked. We don't have to go out and say anymore that we're doing forums. When there's a school board election, mm -hmm. a city council election, most of the cities ask, will you put on a forum? Mm -hmm. And we're very proud of the nonpartisan way that we can do it. It's very important for the voters in each community to be able to ask questions that are important to them right. from their candidates. Are you seeing more involvement in other areas of the county versus others? I mean, is there a pattern to, to this? Are there more people involved in certain parts of the county? I think we're finding more on school elections than we saw before. Okay. But as far as parts of the county yep. go, no, I think we're pretty well involved Good. all the way through. Good. I'm in North Orange County, and I know that we've done all eight cities Wow. every election. And so uh, you're going to be doing quite a bit in November, or close to November, because that's when a lot of those local elections oh, yes. will be coming up. Right. So the league here in Orange County, what about the history of that? I mean, it's grown to about 500 members, you say. Uh, has that been over a 10-year period? Is that over 50 years? Um, I, I would say that we're growing. We usually get our members as women retire. Okay. But we have the League of Women Voters in our title. We're not just women. We have a lot of men joining Good also. Good point. And not, just, not just husbands drawn in, but we, we do have a lot of men voters in also. In fact, I, I had an opportunity to speak to the League uh, a few weeks ago. Yes, and there thank was you. There were quite a few men there at yep. the League meeting. We're very proud of that. Yeah, good. <laughs> so nonpartisan pros and cons uh, in terms of, of that aspect. We talked about nonpartisan at the beginning. Right. What's the pros and cons of being nonpartisan? We need to protect our partisan 
nonpartisan uh, point of view. Mm -hmm. And so we train all our speakers. Mm -hmm. When the ballot measures come out, we pick the ones that were probably going to be most interesting to the voters. Mm -hmm. And you know, the ballot measures are getting very, very hard to understand they are, right. for the common person. Mm -hmm. So after our speakers are trained, we offer pro and con uh, forums. Mm -hmm. And we do the um, arguments for, the arguments against. Mm -hmm. And we do, we do not take our own stand on it. So where can people find information about that? I mean, you, you put information out, you have a smart voter guide that uh, we offer here at our counter. Yes, thank you. What else do you do? Well, we also have one co uh, publication called Easy Voter. Okay. And that gives the rebuttals, the arguments for and against, and the rebuttals, and the people that are supporting each side. Mm -hmm. um, and that's in two languages, English and Spanish. Interesting. So what do you see as the biggest challenge in 2012? I mean, from the league standpoint. Voter registration, uh, do you see Well, if we look at the June primary, right. it's going to be the top two. Okay. Understanding what the top two primary really is. is proposition 14. And we're looking forward to helping you spread that education I'm around. glad you brought that up because the league is going to be involved in our Proposition 14 Speakers Bureau. Great. So you'll have an opportunity to go out throughout Orange County, talk about what Prop 14 is as the top two primary and, and inform voters. We'll do that for you. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. But when we go into the uh, November election, yep. we're going to be doing a load of pros and cons because I think the ballot measure is going are going to be huge. Well, and, for, and that's a good point. For those that are watching, the, uh, the governor signed a bill that took all the measures off of the June ballot and put it on the November ballot. So voters are going to see that November ballot grow in length because of, of that fact. And so you're going to have a lot of education on your hands. We'll do it. <laughs> Good. W anything else you want to tell Actually, us Actually, we're the thinking that there are going to be so many ballot measures that we're probably right. going to have to pick and choose. Oh, interesting. You know, for an evening discussion we, or an afternoon discussion, we can't probably do as many ballot measures as there are going to be on the ballot. Would that be history making? I mean, have you done that in the past? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, when, it, when it grows. <laughs> we, we enjoy this. We, we look forward to doing that. Good. Good. Anything else that you want to tell us about? Well, I want to tell you about our Smart Voter. Yes, please. It's a website. It's called smartvoter.org. In fact, you know, you, you brought this sign in, Thank which you. I think is great. You can't, you can't <laughs> miss that. <laughs> smartvoter.org, right? The, this is our logo, and this is the logo. If you go on the website, smartvoter.org, right. we do... Um, we offer every candidate that's going to be on our local ballot, on our community ballot, mm -hmm. either by email or snail mail, an opportunity to get on the website free of charge. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to campaign. It's very expensive to campaign it now. Is. And so um, we let them do their platform, a picture, a bio of themselves, uh, candidate endorsements from other people. So this uh, is beyond the traditional candidate statement that somebody might see in a sample ballot. And we also have a link to your, mm -hmm. your website. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we, we do monitor it. We do uh, have some requirements mm -hmm. as far as civility goes, but right. it's, a, it's a wonderful source. We, we also try to get the judges to put theirs on. Good. So anything that you see on the ballot, we hope that we have information for in smartvoter.org. We have found that we have thousands of hits during during the election time. Excellent. Well, it's a very good resource for voters to use in addition to what we provide to the voters. Thank you. Juan, I say this to everybody that is joining us for these broadcasts. You're busy. I know it. And uh, we appreciate the time that you take to do this. Well, this is unsolicited, but I want you to know how much we appreciate you being our registrar of voters. Thank you. When I go to League Women Voter meetings, I always say, well, our registrar. <laughs> That's good to hear. You're really on top of things, and we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Again, thanks for joining us for this edition of Election Insights. Join us soon as we'll have more information about the 2012 elections. Thanks again.